Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Cubicle Mystery Puzzles. So I got the $3 Mystery Puzzle, the $5 Mystery Puzzle, the $10 Mystery Puzzle, and the $25 Mystery Puzzle, and we're going to be seeing what we got and comparing them today. So for the $3 Mystery Cube, we have the Chi Windmill Cube. It's a 3x3 shape mod whose retail price is $4.99, so I'd say we got a pretty good deal paying only $3 for this. Now let's unbox it and see how it turns. And it turns just like you'd expect a non-WCA 3x3 shape mod speed cube to turn. Obviously not like flagship cubes turning, but definitely not that either. I'd say this is pretty good for a 3x3 shape mod. And as a matter of fact, I have a windmill cube here to compare it to. Now, I don't know what brand this one is, but I don't think this one turned as well as this one. I think this one does turn a lot better. And just the overall colors are better. I don't know if you can see it, but this yellow seems a lot brighter. So does this red. And I just like this one better. So I think this one is higher quality. I don't know much about cube hardware. I'm not very involved in that kind of stuff, but I'd say this is a good puzzle for $3. For the $5 mystery puzzle, we have the Maylong, and I don't know what this cube is actually called. So it looks like this puzzle is actually called the Pandora Cube, and its retail price is $6. So if you don't know how the mystery cube system works is you buy it, let's say, for $5, and then they give you a cube that's guaranteed to be above that price. So, for example, this one was $6, the $3 mystery cube was $5. So I'd say you get a good deal on every mystery cube. So let's open it up. This one has a little pamphlet. And I think it's also a 3x3 shape mod. Just the pieces look a little different. For example, this is the center. These are the edges. And then the big pieces here are the corners. And let's turn it. Oh, and this actually turns really nice. I didn't expect it to be this nice. Now there's a bit of locking up just because I'm not super used to how this puzzle turns. Could take a while to get used to. But I think it's just a 3x3. For example, this is like an R move. And the layers are like this center edge, 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 and then the corners here. So I think I'm actually gonna do a solve on it. I start on yellow, because I see the yellow red edge here. And an easy cross. So this is actually pretty simple, because it's just like a three by three. I thought it would be harder to recognize the pieces. It seems to be going pretty smoothly. And yellow, J perm, that one's easy to recognize. So yeah, it's just like a three by three solve. Just maybe with a little bit more lockups, and sometimes if you hold it like this and you turn it, the pieces can kind of rub against your finger here. But it just it just looks cool, like with this little square pattern here. It looks nice. Now for the $10 mystery cube, our first WCA speed cube of this video, we have the Chi Volt Square One. I think I already have this cube. Let me open it up anyways even though I'm not really gonna have much to say about this since I already know how it turns. I've already used it. Now, I don't know much about Square One hardware, but I know the turning will get better with time because it's not too great out of the box, I don't think. With some lube and breaking in, I'm sure it'll become as good as this stickerless one I have here, which is my main Square One, and it turns great. So yeah, this is just like the other one, but with stickers instead of stickerless. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about this one. And now for the final cube, the $25 mystery cube, the Chi Wuchui Mini M. We're getting a lot of Chi cubes here. Oh, I did not expect it to open like that. I thought it would like lift up from the top, but it's this hinge kind of thing. Very nice, very premium, which makes sense because it's the most expensive cube in this video. Now I have a Wuchui, but this is the mini version. As you can see, it's a couple millimeters smaller. Yeah, this actually turns pretty nice out of the box. Obviously with some lube and breaking in, it'll get a lot better. I know how good this cube can be. You don't really notice the size difference. I guess you notice it a little. Yeah, you can kind of feel the size difference. I don't know if this is considered like one of the best 4x4s in the market, but when I got this one, it was definitely considered one of the top 4x4s. So I'm excited to do a few solves on this cube and see how my time is improved. In fact, I think I'll do one for this video. 
So to summarize, I got a Windmill Cube, a Pandora Cube, a Volt Square One, and a Wuchui Mini M4x4. I think these were all worth the price I paid for them, but personally, my favorite out of these is the Pandora Cube since it's a puzzle I didn't already have and it just looks really cool. The Wuchui Mini M is definitely my new main 4x4 since it's just like a better version of my old main, although I'm not sure if the new Square One will replace my current main. But overall, I'm happy with the mystery puzzles I got. Comment what your favorite cube in this video was, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more cubing content like this, and I'll see you in my next video.